Welcome to a tutorial uh, for PVSol Premium 2018. Uh, this is regarding the setting the scale uh, on imported 3D models. Uh, it, sometimes uh, when you import such models, the uh, the scaling uh, isn't correct uh, and has to be adjusted. Uh, so we do that by uh, importing the model into PVSol uh, Premium. Uh, there's a couple of ways to do that. Uh, you can either do it as a new project or you could be importing a, a 3D model um, onto another building. But either way, it'll be the same, same ultimate process. You'll, you'll obtain your, your 3D model and you will then be able to um, set a line on that building and the measurement will be shown. And if that measurement's not as you expected, then we need to adjust it. Uh, in this case, we're using this terrain model option uh, where you have multiple uh, objects. Uh, if it was just a single building, maybe you wouldn't need that. In this case, we do have some terrain with the building. Uh, so we've used that option. So we need to draw a polygon on, um, on the mountain on the surface that we're going to mount the modules. Uh, we need to start doing that because that'll that'll give us the dimension uh, we need. In this case, 11.166 meters. And if you compare that to what you expect, in this case, we we want it 15.25. Uh, so we can see there's a there's a, a mismatch. So we're going to correct that now. Um, we, we can right click and edit and we can adjust the maximum height setting and you have to do that in the ratio uh, that you want uh, to change the length you've just seen so so we had a, a, a difference in, 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 along the eaves of the roof well we just we have that same ratio applied to the height so you do that little calculation yourself maybe in a little spreadsheet or on a calculator and you input that into that box there and that should, that should have done it and you just you just do a final check now you can back in on the building uh, draw that polygon again on the same spot and if all has gone well the dimension that then appears should be correct in this case it is uh, and if it isn't you you have to go back and just repeat that same uh, sort of uh, operation so thank you for watching um, We'll now give you some further information for uh, follow-up.